Good evening and welcome to 365 Days of Amazing Stories with Theo Mira. Here we are on day 67 and I'm continuing the story of three good blankets. Living in that rickety old house. That old woman. Well, she spent a lot of nights quite cold. But even when her eldest daughter brought her that beautiful blanket, what did she do with it? She took it out and laid it over her milk cow. What a sweet thing to do. She thought so much of her cow. It's amazing. That cow provided her with milk, cream in which she could make butter or cheese. The butter she could make into ghee. She loved that cow. The milk she could make into paneer. And all what? all by just simply grazing upon that green, sun-filled grass. So yes, she was very much invested in taking care of that cow as best she could. Well, that night she slept well because she felt good about keeping one of her animals in a better state than it had been in before. Well, the next day, the eldest daughter had informed her two younger siblings of what she had done. And the son, who was the middle child, thought, ah, I will go check in on mother and see how she fared for the night with that new blanket. And so out of the town, he went and up the hill until he reached his mother's place. And there he found her out in the yard, tending to the garden, making sure that the chickens were okay and enjoying that beautiful day in the sun. Hey, mom, the son asked, how are you? Oh, I'm good, 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 she said. Oh, that's great, he said. Did you sleep well? Did you sleep well with that beautiful new blanket that Rebecca brought? Ah, oh, she said. I slept well, but not beneath the blanket. You see, she said, I gave the blanket to Bessie, the cow. I thought she needed it more than I. Hmm, I think she slept well too. The son was surprised, but he did his best to, well, keep that hidden. He said, oh, mother, that is the sweetest thing you could have done. While the whole time he was thinking inside, oh my gosh, Maybe she's gotten too old and isn't thinking quite right. Ah, I best go get her a blanket. Maybe this time she'll sleep under it. So down the hill he went after a little more conversation and he went into a shop and bought the thickest, warmest, not the most beautiful, but the thickest, warmest blanket he could find. Up the hill he went, tucked under his arm. <sighs> he got to his mother's and with a little more chit chat, he brought the blanket out and showed it to her, draping it from his two extended arms by his hands. He held it either corner. He couldn't quite 
spread it out completely because it was rather large. Ah, oh, son, she said, this is so sweet of you. Thank you, thank you so much. This will serve me well. Well, with those words, he thought he had done what he needed to do. She had said, this will serve me well. After a little bit more chit-chat and a cup of tea, down the hill he went, down to his family and his home. Well, that night after the old woman had had her dinner and had stoked the fire, she took that beautiful blanket that was, well, quite thick, not so very beautiful, took it out to her horse, the horse that pulled her buggy whenever she needed to go down the hill for supplies. And that night, as her beautiful horse stood in his stall, she drank, draped that blanket over his back and with a big smile made her way back into her wind-ridden, rickety old house. I will leave the story there for tonight and see what might happen tomorrow. Okay, thanks for joining. Hope you enjoyed.